I wonder how you think markets are absorbing all of this. Well, I think by and large, it's it's great news for markets and investors. Uh, I mean, especially with Yellen, a very proven commodity, <clears throat> someone who's very steady, very cautious, uh, already trusted by the investment community, but who has been traditionally very dovish on interest rates, very supportive of high employment, and not overly concerned with inflation. And so I think that's, you know, that's music, at least in the short term, that is music to investors' ears. And I think similarly, you have people coming into the administration pushing stimulus, pushing spending, pushing infra infrastructure investment, uh, fiscal stimulus, again, is at least in the short term, very positive for markets. And there, you know, there's these people are not that concerned about running up the deficit. And again, that's something that may have to be dealt with longer term, but is very positive news. So, I, I, you know, I think there's no that's one of the reasons the market has been so strong in recent days. Yeah. Jim, I wonder, though, um, at what point does the market flip and start to think about the accumulation of debt? Uh, the dispersion of stimulus as as market negative, as negative for sovereign debt ratings, uh, dollar stability, things like that. Well, you know, obviously, uh, at some point, these issues are going to have to be confronted. Um, certainly, though, a lesson of the last decade is that, you know, where is the inflation and what? why is, aren't these big deficits having a bigger impact on interest rates? So I think over the next few years, Movement in interest rates is going to be incredibly important for investors. And at the first sign of strength in the interest rates, interest rates going up, that you're beginning to see uh, the investment community, the fixed, in, in, fixed income community beginning to respond to these growing deficits, then, you know, you're going to have to begin to pay closer attention to this. Certainly, you know, inflation has not gone away. And the markets, you know, as things heat up, as we get a vaccine, as everybody goes back to work, uh, we're going to see more pressure on interest rates. And I think that will be a signal that, you know, you can't just keep running up deficits forever. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.